The SSC and equivalent exams will be held in April next year, followed by the HSC in June. All preparations are taken to celebrate the Bengali New Year 1429. And BNP leader Ishrak Hussain secured bail today after six days of his arrest. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my TV news. I'm Fozer Oshun with you in the newsroom today. If you are still watching the headlines, and I'm going to the details. The SSC and equivalent exams will be held in April next year, followed by the HSC in June, says Education Minister Dipumoni on Tuesday. But the exams will be based on a shortened syllabus in 2023. According to her, the SSC, Dakil and equivalent examinations will be held on the syllabus for the 2022 academic session. And the HSC, Alim and equivalent examination next year will follow the syllabus of 180 working days as set for 2022. The the exams will consist of all subjects and be graded on full marks. However, the authorities are yet to take a decision on this year's junior school certificate examination. All preparations are afford as the nation to celebrate the biggest festival of Bengalis, the Bengali New Year 1429. The Dhaka University Finals Faculty is taking preparation to celebrate the Pahala Bushak, the first day of Bengali New Year, in a larger scale. Due to the epidemic, pu publicly, the celebration of the Bengali New Year has been stopped for the last two years. Overcoming all the obstacles, the people of the country gets ready to celebrate the Bengali New Year with a fresh start. Horse, drone, puppets and fish are the symbols of peace in this year's procession. The artists of the Faculty of Fine Arts are working tirelessly day and night to be inspired by the festive mood. Nirmal Koro, Mongol Kore, Molin Mormo Muchai by poet Rajakin Toshian is set to be the theme of this year's procession. None will be allowed to wear masks entering the premises of Romna Bottomul for the sake of security on the occasion of Pohela Bushak, the festival of Bengalis. Besides, everyone will be allowed to enter the Mongol Shobhajata after checking, says DMP Commissioner Mohammad Shafiqul Islam today. Moreover, all outdoor Pohela Bushak celebrations in Dhaka will have to end by 2 p.m. on the Bengali New Year, the Commissioner added. To ensure the safety of the public, the park is equipped with the CCTV cameras and the several checkpoints, watch towers and watchers of the Dhaka Metropolis chief. BNP leader Ishrak Hussain secured a bail today after six days of his arrest in an arson attack case. Dhaka Additional Chief Metropolitan Magistrate Tofazal Hussain granted bail after a hearing. On April 8, police arrested Ishrak from a left fleet distribution program in the Motijul area of the capital in protest of rising commodity prices. Alia, an arrest warrant was issued against Ishrak, son of a former Dhaka city mayor, Sadek Hussain Koka, in a case filed over setting a car on fire in 2020. Honorable Fellow of the Center for Policy Dialogue CPD, Dr. Famida Khatun advised it to keep inflation realistic in the market. She made the suggestion at a press conference at the CPD office in Dhanbondi today. She also suggested rising the tax-free income limit at the individual level to target 3.5 lakh and increasing subsidies in agriculture. She said that long-term sustainable development was not possible by wasting natural resources and suggested forecasting on green economic development. Famida Khatun urged the CPD to increase efficiency and productivity at a press conference on the 2022-23 budget.
The ramp has arrested Zeldin alias Zaman from Uttara on charges of embezzling hundreds of crores of attackers and laundering large sums of money through fraudulent investments in various institutions, including the ceramic industry. Kondokar Al Moin, head of RAB's legal and media wing, told reporters at the Karan Bazar Media Center today that 37 checkbooks, fine liquor, confirmed notes, and various fraudulent documents were recovered during the operation. During the preliminary interrogation, he provided information on various issues and stages to default various businesses. That's all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Allah Hafiz.